you all are one of the best damn crews I've ever seen. Kick it up, max level! The SEAL Team 6 of firefighters. One, two. We saved all that. If this ain't the greatest job in the world, I don't know what is. Well, the new movie, Only the Brave, opens in theaters tomorrow. Of course, it's the story of the Granite Mountain hotshots, and this movie hits especially close to home for one man. Tara Hitchcock has a story of a guy named Brandon Bunch. He's a former hotshot who helped filmmakers stay true to this story of honoring his fallen brothers. This ain't the greatest job in the world. I don't know what is. You're not an actor. You know this world probably better than anybody here. That's because Brandon Bunch lost 19 of his friends in the Yarnell Hill fire. I was on the crew that season. I left uh, two weeks before everything happened. My wife was pregnant. We are getting ready to have our third boy. Just two weeks before the tragedy, Brandon left the hot shots to tend to his family. His three boys are now seven, five, and four. They know all my friends died uh, fighting fire, and they're in heaven. When Brandon heard they'd be making a film about the Granite Mountain hot shots. I wasn't on board at all. Yeah, I, I told them no a few times. That's when Pat McCarty, a former hot shot, now Prescott firefighter, who also said no originally, told Brandon. They're going to make the movie with or without us. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, if we're there, we can make it a little better and a little closer. Brandon says it's hard watching these actors play his friends. And it's weird seeing seeing them from like a distance, you know what I mean? Like it looks like a crew and it, you know, everyone looks a little similar. So yeah, it's trippy. Besides acting as a technical advisor, Brandon had a small part in the film, playing his real life best friend, hotshot Garrett Zupiger. And he had one line. I asked for a chew. So yeah, my mom's gonna be super proud. Oh, and then, and then I open a beer with the chainsaw. A year after our set visit, Brandon is still spending time with chainsaws, time outdoors. I'm a tree climber, so we remove trees in tight areas. Clearing hazards and keeping things safe, things he would do with his friends as a hot shot. Mark. He says the filmmakers did a nice job capturing the essence of his friends, but admits it wasn't easy to sit through. The whole thing was kind of hard to watch, but I'm glad they made the movie, and I, you know, I feel like they did a pretty good job. I asked Brandon if his sons yeah. know much about the film. They kind of know what happened. I mean, it's funny because my youngest will talk about Garrett, who I played in the movie. He's my best friend. So Garrett used to come to our, our house and uh, eat breakfast with us and stuff, and my kids loved him. One day, those boys will get to see their father playing that man they loved. Well, tomorrow on 3TV, we're going to be running a special on the Granite Mountain Hot Shots. Uh, it's called Heroes and Heartbreak. We're going to hear from more of those who lived through this tragedy and take a closer look at how the movie is shining a spotlight on the unsung heroes among us. You can watch it tomorrow at 6.30, right after Good Evening Arizona, right here on 3TV. And right now, you can actually watch Tara's story on our website, azfamily.com. We also have a slideshow with pictures of all the fallen hotshots and also the movie trailer.